Hi YouTube, this is Ellie for Once Been a Hoarder, and today I'm doing a book review, and it's The Unwanted Wife by Natasha Anders, and I love this book, and there will be spoilers here, and I give it a five, it's amazing, and I cried like a baby, it's so sad, and the title's perfect for it, The Unwanted Wife, because she really is The Unwanted Wife, and I just love this book, and I love this character, Teresa, that's her name, and the guy's name is Alessandro, and he's a jerk, and it's just like a Harlequin Presents, so if you love Harlequin Presents, you're going to love this book. But the best thing about this book is he actually redeems himself. And like, you know in Harlequin Presents, the guys can never redeem themselves. First of all, they don't grovel enough. Some don't even apologize. So yeah, he redeems himself. I actually sort of felt sorry for him at the end. But she gave him hell all through the book and I loved it. And there's these two parts I really love when she tells him. She's like, you're trying to put a bandage on an amputee. I love that part. And there's another part when she says, if you want to see a, a real husband, look in the other room. And that's when you'll see a real husband. <laughs> That's my favorite part when she tells him that. He looks all shocked. Like, he can't believe she's talking to him like that. But, yeah, it's an amazing book. And I love it. But it's, oh, I'll tell you what's about. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> my, my thing's about to go dead. But, yeah, so it's about this lady who wants a divorce after being with this man who treats her like crap all through the marriage. Even a little before the marriage. And she's just sick of it now. And she's, and it, you just, you want to, you, I almost want to hate her because she stayed in this marriage for so long. But then I started thinking about it. She really loved them. And usually I don't like, I don't accept that part because they love them. They stay with them and get treated like trash. But I mean, I don't know. I liked this character. So I still liked it. I didn't hate her at all. And I was very surprised because most Harlequin Presents heroines I hate. But I love this character. And so she stays with them and she wants a divorce. That's the beginning of the book right, right in the beginning. She says, I want a divorce. And I just love that about her. Well, I love that about the book. But, I, I mean, I like this character because she's very strong. And in a way, I can even understand because she has this father that treated her like, like crap too. So, she just thinks she deserves to be treated like that. But, yeah. So, she tells him she wants a divorce. He says she, she he's not getting it. Well, they will never get a divorce. And um, so, then he starts blackmailing her like Harley resents about her cousin because he gave money to the cousin for her business. And um, so, eventually, he just tries to like win her back and he's changed man because he falls in love with her finally. Or he realized he always loved her. I mean, I think he really, uh, he did love her, I guess. But I don't think you can love someone to treat them like that. But yeah, so he falls in love with her. And he tries to be a better man and treat her right. But she still wants a divorce. And then she realizes she can't leave this marriage. She, like, she wants to stay in this marriage because she's trying to stay to give him a baby boy. It has to be a boy because the grandfather said it had to be a, a male child. Otherwise, he can't get his land for his father. And then his family hates her. And she, that's another thing. He never even introduced her to his family, which I thought was messed up. Or his friends. So she's never met his family or his friends. He won't kiss her on the mouth. <laughs> that part to me was... He does everything else but won't kiss her on the mouth. There's so much wrong with this guy. Really, there is. But he really does change it around. I know you probably don't believe me watching this, but read this book. It's amazing. Read it. So I rated it a 5, and I love it. And I read it a second time, and it was still amazing. And I think I will read it again, because I love this book. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.